Hello, Ralph the Vela back for Cormac Crusoe's Legendary Trumpet Lesson number 9. Today we're going to introduce a second tongue-in exercise by Cormac Crusoe. Last week we did his first tongue-in exercise based off the six notes, and today we're going to do the second one also based off the six notes. Now if you missed last week's tongue-in exercise, it would be good to go back and review that. That was in Lesson 8. So today we're going to look at this is exercise number two for tongue-in and also we're going to look at the interval of the octave. Okay, let me show you exercise number two for tongue-in. This is the second tongue-in exercise given by Carmen Caruso. As you see, it's based off the six notes. So we're going to play it and follow the repeats in there. It's very simple. And then uh, after we're done with it, we rest a couple seconds. Then we play the G sharp, rest a couple seconds, play the A to the to the C, just like this. You would do the six notes. So just uh, tongue it the way you normally tongue it, and this exercise alone will improve your tonguing. Uh, we're going to do it at a moderate pace. No sense doing it too fast. It's more important to do it good than to do it fast and not get the job done correctly. So uh, we can always increase the pace later on. All right, so let's do this exercise together. All right, when we play this exercise, first we play the G, and it's in the key of G. Then when we finish that series, the next one we're going to play the A flat, which is written down G sharp, inharmonic, same note. So we're going to play the next one A flat. Notes are A flat, B flat, C, D flat, and E flat. And then the same thing, we go to the A's, everything in the key of A. So uh, keep that in mind if you can't, uh, if you don't have it memorized the keys, then you have to write it down. So whichever one you got to do. And also, uh, just do your tongue in the way you normally do your tongue in. This exercise will improve your tongue in. So let's play it together now. You know, also, let's, let's get a beat in our head about how fast we want to play this. Let's do like 96. Okay, that's about 96. We got that in our head. Okay, so we always count four before we begin our Parma Caruso exercises. So let's play it together. One. Let's do the A flat next. The notes are A flat, B flat, C, D flat, and E flat. Okay, now we're going to do the A. Remember, it's in the key of A's. A, B, C sharp, D, E. One. Okay, now we're going to do the key of B flat. It's written down as A sharp and harmonic to B flat, same thing. B flat C, D, E flat, F. Okay, let's count it.
Okay. Not easy. Nothing's easy. That's worthwhile doing. Let's do the B next. Remember, key B. We're going to start on the B, C sharp, D sharp, E, and F sharp. All right, let's count it. Okay, now let's do C. Remember key C, C, D, E, F, and G. Let's count down. One. Hey, that's the tonguing exercise. This exercise is going to help you not only with your tonguing, it builds strength in your arm for sure, builds strength in your tongue. This is a good exercise. It's not an easy exercise. So you can need if you need to you rest a little bit in between each note. You know when you go from the G to the A flat to the B, you can rest for a few seconds or half a minute, whatever you need. Take your time and do it. You'll improve. The second thing I want to show you in this lesson is the octave study. Now this is the intervals. It's an octave. We started with the seconds on the first week, then the thirds, the fourths, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the minor seventh, the major sevenths, and now the octaves. So these octaves are actually the last of the basic octaval studies, uh, the uh, octave studies, the interval studies I mean to say. And um, after this, we're going to go, be going to a schedule for the intervals, which will be different intervals for different days. So on this, it's going to be a steady blow like always. And we're going to blow uh, four notes, four notes, and four notes, rest four notes. Now, if you don't really know how to play the interval studies, go back to the, to the second lesson. The first lesson was the six notes. The second lesson was on the seconds. And it gave you all the rules on how to play the intervals and how do you play these intervals is as important as the exercise itself so go back watch number two lesson number two uh the seconds and then then come back and then play the octaves so this is the last of the basic interval studies the octave the octave interval for those of you who have been following my lessons from lesson one we're on lesson nine now now, the first thing we're going to do in lesson 9 is the 6 notes, the regular way, 2 beats, 2 beats, 4 beats. And if you want to review that, you go back to lesson 1. And the second thing we're going to do is the intervals. We're doing the intervals of the octave. Now, on the intervals of the octave, you should go back and, and review lesson 2, which is the interval, the interval of the second. Then, go back and play the interval of the octave. Then the third thing we're going to do is the pedals. Same thing, you can review that, review that by going back to, to video number eight. Um, then we're going to do the new tongue and exercise, tongue and exercise number two. And I showed it to you at the beginning of this video. Then the last thing we're going to do is the clock book, the third study. So that's the whole lesson number nine. So just to show you one more time, we got that. We got the six notes, we got the octaves, and then the pedals, again, if you need to go back and look at the pedals, go back to the video and watch it, and we have the new single tongue exercise, exercise number two, and then we have the Clark book, the third study. So that was number nine in the Carmine Crusoe series of lessons, 
Next week will be number 10, the final in the series from 1 to 10. After that, we'll be doing Pacific exercises from Carmine Caruso. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next month. Looking forward to it. This is Ralph Devello, Carmine Caruso's former student.